How's it going my fellow aviators? So this is a summary of all of the aviation news that occurred last week. I apologize for the delay in me releasing this, the news for this week will be released on Sunday. Nevertheless, let's jump straight into it. So on Monday, Korean Airspace Industries announced the possibility of developing a new regional airliner. The company will be conducting a feasibility study over the next 2-3 to three years. The first test flight is scheduled to take off around 5 years after the start of the development, so we could see the new Korean jet in around 7 years. The airline hasn't released any images of the jet or capacity or the range specifications. However, if it was a jet aircraft, it would likely compare to the Embraer 175E2 or the Mitsubishi MRJ70. And if it was a propeller aircraft, then it would compete with the ATR family. The company sees a market for around 400 aircraft. Now, investigators determined that a pilot operating a US Bangla Bombardier Q400 aircraft was under stress before it crashed on 12th of March last year at Chibovan Airport. The pilot was emotionally disturbed after a conversation in the cockpit with a colleague went sour. This led to a loss of situational awareness and a failure to follow standard operating procedures at critical stages of the flight. On Tuesday, Mitsubishi filed a countersuit in court alleging that Bombardier is deliberately trying to disrupt the Mitsubishi regional jet program. A statement said that Bombardier has engaged in illegal anti-competitive behaviours with the intent to impede the development and certification of the Mitsubishi regional jet. Bombardier has sued MRJ three months ago, claiming that former employees stole trade secrets and used them on the MRJ program. We'll just have to wait and see how this plays out over the next few months. Singapore Changi Airport has announced that they handled 65 million passengers in 2018, which is a record-breaking number for the airport, up from 62 million in 2017. Aircraft movements saw an increase of 3.4%, and among Changi's top markets, India and Japan saw growth rates of 12 and 10%. So the board of ANA has approved an order for 30 737 MAX 8 and 18 A320neos for their budget airline, Peach. The 737 Maxes will replace their 47 737 Next Generations and fly alongside their 33 A320 Neos the airline has in its fleet on order. The deal is valued at $2 billion at list price. So Norwegian is seeking $350 million to strengthen their balance sheet and increase their financial flexibility. The airline is struggling and faced a close call after Christmas, nearly violating their loan agreements. However, they've secured funding just in time. The airline has also said they're no longer in talks with IAG about a potential merger. And do you think any other airline groups will be interested in buying Norwegian? Let me know what you think in the comments below. On Wednesday, Korean Air announced an estimated 28% decline in 2018 full-year operating profits, mainly due to higher fuel costs. Its revenue is estimated to grow by 7.2% to nearly $11 billion. However, operating expenses also rose 10% to $10 billion. It was a similar story with Hawaiian Airlines who blamed volcanoes, severe weather and increased competition for a reduction in profits, as well as higher fuel prices. The airline saw an operating profit of just over $300 million, down 32% year on year. Now, US Airlines cancelled hundreds of flights on Wednesday due to record-breaking cold temperatures, sending the Midwest into a deep freeze. Over 2,500 flights were cancelled by mid-afternoon, with 1,500 of those in Chicago O'Hare and 32 in Midway. United cancelled 80% of their Chicago schedule, American Airlines cancelled 675 flights, and Southwest Airlines cancelled 600 flights by midday. Delta, fortunately, wasn't hit too hard with only 80 cancellations. Now, on Thursday, Emirates confirmed that they were in talks with Airbus regarding their A380 order. They're currently discussing a potential switch from the A380 to the A350. I think the Emirates will most likely go with the A350-1000 variant since it is the largest A350. Emirates ordered 70 A350s back in 2007, but they cancelled their order in 2014, committing to 40 787 10 Dreamliners at the Dubai Air Show, although they still haven't firmed up on this order. We also heard that Qantas will cancel their order for 8 A380s, which has been hanging around our Airbus since 2006. Now, this was a blow to Airbus, who reported cancellation orders worth of $4 billion, largely due to Qantas A380 cancellation. The only airline which has indicated it could be interested in more of the planes is surprisingly British Airways. Speaking at a press conference, Willie Walsh was heard to say that they will order more if the price was right. 
So it will be interesting to see whether the production online will be totally closed. Now Garuda Indonesia is stated to consider switching their Sunfree Sour Max 8 order to the Sunfree Sour Max 10 variant on Friday. It's reported that 34 of the 49 Max 8s are to be considered for conversion. However, the airline has not formally amended their order. The airline maintains that they will receive their remaining 49 Max 8s between 2020 and 2024. And finally, Qatar Airways is to hold discussions with One World Airline Alliance, but they have not advanced their threats to withdraw from the group, according to the airline, which was released by a statement on Friday. We know that Qatar Airways has a shaky relationship with the alliance, although Willie Walsh, who is the CEO of IAG, said that if Qatar Airways were to withdraw, then IAG would maintain their links with the airline as a large shareholder and could potentially code share some of their flights. So that would be very interesting. So there you go captains, that was a summary of all of the aviation news which occurred last week. Now if there's anything that jumped out at you or you might want to include your thoughts and comments, then by all means do let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe as always, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.